Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the realms of Valyria. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and I just want to start off today's episode by saying a massive thank you for all of the supports you guys showed on the first episode. I really appreciate you guys giving this series a chance and I guarantee you guys as we go along things are going to get better and better. And freaking better. Oh, yeah. So, guys, if you're excited for today's episode, you want to continue to show your support for the series, you guys know what to do. There's a like button beneath the video. Go ahead and give that a bit of a smash. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on with today's build, which is actually something I took inspiration from from real life. Because, uh, you know, I, I live in a very sort of farmland county in the UK. And, you know, you're, you're driving by pig pens and fields and whatnot. And, yeah, I, I want to make a pig pen in today's episode, my friends. I've taken inspiration from real life, like I say. And I think it's going to be a fantastic little build. Now, obviously, because we're still in the dirt age, we're going to be using very, very sort of rudimentary, easy to get resources here. So, we've got spruce leaves. These are going to act as the wall. We've got the course and dirt here for the floor uh, we've got fences for you know some uh, torches you know little tiki torches rather like this and we've got some various other decorative bits and bobs as well however there is one other thing that I want to see if it works right because one of the things we always have inside oh here we go okay so one two three one of the things you always have inside of a pig pen right is some sort of feeding trough and i kind of believe that maybe a full-up composter would look really really good in the ground as a feeder right so we're going to go ahead and give that a little bit of a go in today's episode right so oh geez oh, oh. huh who die? Oh. <laughs> a squid just decided to commit suicide. Well, that's not morbid or anything, Minecraft. Jeez. What is wrong with you, dude? Oh, my goodness me. Right. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. I want the uh, spruce fence. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And in addition to that, it might also be an idea to uh, get ourselves just a small supply here of charcoal. Because we kind of need some. Because I want to make some torches. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. We need to figure out the place in which this is going to go. Right. So, we've got our first dirt you know, hot mound type thing right there. And uh, we're going to be making a little bit of a settlement here. So, maybe we could uh, make a nice little area around here. Now, one of the things I do want to do in addition to the pig pen is I want to start making the pathways and uh, trying to figure out where things are going to go, right? So, I think it goes without saying, one of the things we will do is have the pathway come alongside this river, right? And then we have, like, a very large amount of space back here. So... What else have we got around here? So there's a little pond here. I'm thinking we could probably uh, utilize that and make it real nice in a future episode. Uh, but I'm just, I think more than anything, I just need a really, really nice location. So let's grab ourselves the spruce leaves here. We're also going to need coarse dirt because the one thing I don't want to have happen is I really don't want the grass to spread inside of the build. I don't think that would look very, very good. I think it needs to just be dirt. You know, we're in the dirt age. I feel like having like grass blocks in there might make it look a little bit too, I don't know. What's the word I'm looking for? Maybe not modern, but a little bit more, what's the word? I don't know, like maintained, looked after. I don't want it to be that. I want it to be like a big muddy pen, you know, something that's very messy. Because at the end of the day, whenever you look into a pig pen in real life, it's always very messy and muddy, right? So, yeah, I think it could be cool. I really, really do. So, I'll tell you what, we're just going to go ahead and uh, clear ourselves up a bit of space here. And then we will begin on this build. All right, guys, so the time has come. It is time to begin placing in some leaves here, and this is going to act as the wall for this pig pen, right? We're going to have ourselves, hopefully, a very, very organic-looking shape here. Uh, certainly no kind of system to do in this or anything like that, so maybe we could have this come all the way back here. Uh, maybe even we could incorporate this tree into the build, right? So that's pretty nice. I'm, I'm kind of down with that. I actually am. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, maybe we could incorporate this tree into the build as well. Uh-huh. And then I think what we do is we then start bringing the leaves sort of around town here. Uh, maybe we could sort of have it neighbor this pond 
You know, that could be a really, really nice thing to try and go for here. Uh, we need to begin bringing this in. Oh my goodness me, it's getting real dark. <laughs> we should probably go to sleep real quick, huh? All right, so yeah, let's just uh, park ourselves in bed here with our beautiful leaves in our hand. I mean, who doesn't sleep with uh, leaves in their hand? I mean, you got to be a madman if you don't do that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyway, so uh, yeah, let's continue on, shall we, ladies and gents? So, let's uh, bring the leaves around here just a little bit. And we do need to, of course, bear in mind, uh, we need to have some sort of entrance, right? So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. And let, let's say that this is going to be the entrance. Also, I kind of don't like the fact that that's like almost connecting with that tree there. So... I decided to uh, cut that down just a little bit here. But uh, ladies and gents, here we go. We've got ourselves a nice amount of space going on here. And, you know, we've got the leaves almost as the uh, the separator. So, we've actually already got some pods all in here. And a lot of you guys were very correctly saying uh, that, of course, you can get pods all really easily. You need only grow a 2x2 two two spruce tree. I, I totally forgot that that was a thing. So, yeah, I was a bit of a dumbo in the last episode, huh? Okay. So, uh, the thing is, though, I still want it to only be dirt and coarse dirt, right? So, we're going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this stuff. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure that Podzol does not spread. So, as a matter of fact, we should be totally fine in terms of grass not spreading in here. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, I like it, I like it. So what we're going to do, my friends, is we're just going to go ahead and uh, let's say, first of all, we just put down coarse dirt. And then very, very simply, we'll start adding in the regular dirt for a little bit of texture variation. So, uh, as per the norm, let's put that in our offhand. Ah, our shovel is like almost dead. Uh-huh. Well, thankfully, I've got one more bit of iron, so we could go ahead and uh, make ourselves a fresh shovel real quick. But uh, sadly... That is, in fact, our last iron ingot. So we're going to need to go mining at some point, huh? But, uh, you know, like I say, this is a building-oriented series, so, you know, uh, resource gathering will be done off camera for the most part. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So, guys, let's go ahead and add some texture variation in here, and let's see just how much difference it makes to the build. All right, folks, so it's extremely subtle, but we do have a culmination of dirt and coarse dirt, rather similar to our hut right there. So, guys, what we're now going to do, very, very simply, is we're going to start adding in some pig huts. And it's going to be an extremely simple design. We're just using dirt here. And uh, believe it or not, I already did my research. Pigs are apparently just under a block tall. So believe it or not, they will actually be able to get underneath and inside of that thing right there. Okay, so, uh, maybe, uh, okay, so the pigs still won't be able to get out of there, which is obviously, uh, good. Uh, but with that said, I mean, I definitely feel like this particular hut needs to be shoved over a couple blocks, perhaps, just so it feels a little bit more open. Uh, so if we were to actually get rid of this little bit here... Uh, then I feel like we should be able to, you know, improve things just a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we could probably fit one more in, like uh, one more proper sized one. So perhaps we do it right here, uh, because why not? Okay, so do that. And then what I was thinking of doing is maybe putting the feeding trough sort of in the middle here. Right, so we go ahead and grab the compens uh, compensator, the comparator, put that in the comparator, composter, python, and then we go ahead and fill this up, if we can. Oh my goodness me, we're actually going to wind up using this whole lot. Oh my word, how did... How oh man, <laughs> well that's me thinking I'd be able to go ahead and uh, just get all of this done, but apparently Minecraft has other ideas, huh? Uh, right, ferns? Okay, yeah, yeah, this actually works. Yeah, there we go. So, for a feeding trough, I actually feel like that works pretty well. I think that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan of that. I can, I can roll with it. I can work with it. Uh, what I'm going to do here real quick is I am going to make just a little pond. You know, a little bit of decoration never hurt anyone, right? So, yeah, let's get that done. All right, folks. So, now is the time for probably my favorite thing to do in Minecraft, and that is, of course, uh, decorating stuff. So, uh, talking of decorating, I did actually forget something. Here. Yeah, there we go. A little bit of sugar caneage. And I'll tell you what... Actually, no, I was just, <laughs> I was almost going to suggest putting down sweet berries in there, but upon them growing, the pigs will just impale themselves on there, right? So, probably not the greatest idea in the world, huh? Okay, so, we've got the sugar cane, so I've actually got like a little uh, secondary pond here, so we can go ahead and just add a couple bits of greenery here, 
which I think will definitely add something to the build. Uh, if we manage to get string or something like that at some point, it'll be kind of nice to maybe, you know, restrict the heights of the sugar cane just to add a bit of uh, height variation. Uh, so, you know, that'll be something to uh, get to a little bit later down the line. However, all we're going to do in the meantime, ladies and gents, very, very simply, is we're going to randomly splodge down all of these little ferns and, of course, the long grass and various whatnots as well. So, uh, very, very simply, my friends, just nice and random. Okay, and we'll do the same with the long grass here. If I had access to bone meal, I would, of course, go ahead and make some of these into, like, double tall grass, but, uh, you know, you can't have everything at the start, can you, ladies? gentlemen you just can't all right so bada bing and bada boom and you know what i'm kind of enjoying that i think this is kind of cool okay and then of course we've got the fences here we can go ahead and uh, maybe put some torches up some little uh, tiki torches so bada boom that's looking pretty cool and then maybe we could put some like at the back over here uh just so you know we've got no hostile mob spawning in here so ah there we go so look at that we've got a, a light level of seven here on this very block so what that means is that hostile mobs can and will spawn on it right so what i might do in which case is just uh, switch that around and then put the tiki torch right here instead right and then we come over here and there we go it's a light level of eight okay looking pretty cool okay uh so we could probably do with another one over here maybe that can just be a single block tall maybe the same over here as well uh maybe at the entrance here we could have a double tall one ah you see we're, we're making plays here my oh, what what since when could you do that I didn't know you could do that. Since when could you place torches on leaf blocks? I swear that has not always been a feature. <laughs> what? Okay, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I think that's pretty freaking cool. You know, we've got some new building opportunities, right? Huh. I, I genuinely didn't know that. I've learned something new today. <laughs> oh, man. It might, it might be because they made a whole bunch more... Uh, blocks in Minecraft count as, uh, you know, in air quotes, solid blocks. So that could probably do the job. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, I think all we need to do now really is go get some pigs, right? Now, of course, by doing that, we are going to need ourselves some either carrots or potatoes. So... I don't know, it might be a case of doing a bit of a mob rampage or failing that, then I guess we could try to find ourselves a village, you know, do a bit of exploring. So, yeah, I don't know, we'll figure it out, guys, we'll figure it out. We, we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can't find some awesome stuff to do, huh? Ah, you see, one of the other things I really enjoy about the Mega Tiger biome is you get a plentiful amount of mushrooms. And obviously what that means is we can have mushroom stew as a bit of a food resource which is awesome so yeah that's pretty cool so we've got ourselves a little bit of a uh, food situation going which is real nice and in terms of the uh, carrots and potatoes i'm going for the exploration idea so yeah in the meantime let's just take some time to admire these floating ferns this is this is just not right this is not right oh my goodness <laughs> minecraft is so weird <laughs> And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, since this is, you know, a building-oriented series, it might be an idea to, you know, pick up some of the biome-specific, uh, you know, foliage that you can get around here. So in swamps, of course, we can get, like, blue orchids, we can get lily pads as well. And to be honest, they're pretty cool in terms of a decorative resource. I don't see reason why we can't use them, right? I mean, I feel like they both would work pretty well in the Dirt Age kind of deal, you know? So, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to pick up literally everything. I'm going to be a hoarder. <laughs> Ah, naturally spawned pumpkins. Awesome. Okay, so the good thing about this, of course, is we have just basically unlocked the ability to have a new lighting source, the jack-o'-lantern, which could prove valuable, again, in the dirt age if we don't want to just use torches. I mean, torches are awesome. They really, really are. But if we need to make any kind of hidden lighting, then, yeah, I think it's a good idea to have jack-o'-lanterns. And then you could just, like, put leaves on top of them. And then there you go. You've got yourself a pretty medieval old style type dealio right in terms of lighting uh-huh oh wow okay hey guys check this out we got like a freaking huge savannah mountains oh there's a village over there oh heck yeah dude dude this this is epic 
That that's pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> wow, wow, a mutated savanna biome, huh? And then just over here we have ourselves a village, which is brilliant because if there's any potatoes or carrots there, either of the two will be enough to uh, you know lure some pigs back to our area. Uh huh. Yeah, baby. All right. So yeah. Okay. So that's all seeds. Uh huh. Are there any potatoes or carrots? I guess we'll find out in just a minute here. Oh my goodness, look at all the freaking melons, dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, bales are pretty cool as well. Definitely pick those up. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff going on here, huh? I mean, I think it goes without saying, we're going to have to rob the bell. I mean, I mean, why would you not rob the bell? Come on, you got to be a madman to not take the freaking bell, you know? <laughs> uh, in, my, in my case, it's kind of a way of counting how many villagers I've been going through and pillaging. So, yeah. Ah, look at this! Rudimentary armor. Yeah. Playing in the dirt age with leather armor. Awesome. I'm robbing your chests as well. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Have to do it. Huh. Well, I didn't think we'd be able to get flower pots as loot, but do you know what? I'm, I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. That in addition to the stone cutter. And uh, we've got ourselves a bit of a collection of workplace blocks, which is awesome. Alrighty, guys. So in this house, I actually managed to find a saddle and a singular emerald. This is like literally Venus's arms right here. This is... The most valuable thing we have on our person at the moment. We've also got ourselves a little bit more leather armor and a few more other workstation blocks. In addition to a few acacia saplings, which is actually really nice for additional building blocks, right? So, yeah, plenty of things going on, my friends. And uh, things, are looking, things are looking up. Things are looking up. In terms of a potato, though, I haven't managed to find any yet. So... Hmm, I don't know what's going on there. Alright guys, so there we go. We do indeed have some potatoes here, which is awesome. So what that means, ladies and gents, is we just need to head back in a southern direction to get back home. Oh, there's a cat over there. Huh. I mean, I would go ahead and grab him, but I don't have any fish on me. I probably could just go kill some fish just to, uh, just to be able to, you know, tame him and take him back. Oh, hey, it's a black cat as well. Oh my gosh, he looks like my actual cat in real life. Oh, oh no, now I feel really bad that I'm not going to tame him. Oh gosh darn it. Alright guys, well we're good anyway. We've got potatoes. All we need to do is just find some pigs, lure them back and put them in the pig pen. Oh yeah. Guys, we're getting to the end of this little project today and I'm excited guys. I'm excited. Nice little pig pen will offer us a food source as we go along. Provided that we continuously breed those guys up of course. Uh, so yeah. Should be good times. Ah, well, we got there just in the nick of time, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it is becoming night time. And, well, I guess now is as good a time as any uh, just to see if we have lit this up sufficiently, right? So here we go. We've got three pigs coming in here. Uh, uh, hello. Three pigs coming in here. Yep, there we go. That's one. Okay. Come on, brothers. All right, in you come. Look at your new home, huh? It's beautiful, is it not? Go on. Breed. Breed, give me the fourth pig. There he is. Beautiful. Okay. So, yeah. This is pretty awesome, huh? Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to get over that. Uh-oh. Well, uh, that could be an issue. I mean, they might be able to get out. But uh, whatever the case, ladies and gents, the pig pen is up and running. And it's looking very, very nice, if I do say so myself. And i got to be honest. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. I'm liking the fact that we're just taking on these small projects per episode to the point where, you know, hopefully you guys can follow along and all that kind of stuff. It's nice. It's, it's nice taking the uh, pace down a notch a little bit because I always feel like uh, as time goes on, like the pace keeps getting quicker and quicker and quicker to the point where things aren't really that uh, easy to keep up with anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a strange thing to describe. It really is. But uh, hopefully the message is there that I kind of want to take it nice and chill in this series. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, we've got a fairly decent amount of stuff going on here and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I really, really am. We've got like yellow dye and other weird and wonderful things here. We've got a saddle. Guys, if we could find a freaking donkey, then that would make construction and uh, you know transporting goods back and forth a whole lot better 
It really, really would. It would be fan free fantastic if you ask me, actually. Right, so boom, ink sack, why not? We've got a singular emerald. <laughs> you can go in there, buddy. We have a compass. Eh, I'm not entirely sure we're going to wind up using it, but uh, I don't know. Weirder things have happened, I guess. So, yeah, there we have it, ladies and gents. We've got ourselves a beautiful pig pen in today's episode, and I think what I'm going to do in the next episode is we're going to work on this riverside pathway here, and all will be well. Now, due to popular demand as well, I have seen the comments area of the first episode. A lot of you guys were saying, hey, Python, are you going to bring the comment question of the video into this series as well? And you know what? I really enjoy being able to interact with you guys. So the answer to that is yes, we are indeed going to do that. Uh, ah, I've just realized I can't get any more leaves because I don't have any shears and no iron. So I guess for now, we're just going to have to leave this as it is. But guys, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to go make ourselves a book, get the comment question of the video, and then we'll end off today's episode. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Realm of Valyria comment question of the video for this episode. So Roostia says the dirt hut is cool, but the fact that the mobs can just walk in there is giving me anxiety. So fix that, lol. Uh, so here's the thing though i'm trying to stick to like a law right and well people in the dirt age in my opinion the doors probably weren't even invented right i mean yeah we've got ourselves a fence gate here so potentially we could put one down but i don't know to, to a certain degree i i do agree that uh yes we should probably put a door on there but at the same time I don't think I am because i kind of like the idea of uh you know we've got to you know keep a lookout at night you know a little bit of an added challenge, if you will. And it just, you know, it brings the immersion, you know, a little bit more alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I kind of like the fact that I could just walk in here. <laughs> uh, you know, if we have to defend it against mobs, then so be it. The only reason I have a fence gate here is so that the pigs don't escape, right? That's literally the only reason. If I, if I had my way and the mobs could just stay in there, then I would totally get rid of the fence gate. But uh, since they can escape, yeah, it's going to be a little bit annoying. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode from the Realm of Valyria. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode and today's little build project then please do be sure of course to drop a like rating and very much appreciate it hit the subscribe button and ding that bell as well so you guys don't miss out on future content subscribing is free guys go ahead and give it a go and you'll be the first to see the new episodes so guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for all of your support through this series so far i truly do appreciate it i really appreciate you guys giving the series a chance like truly it means a lot to me so yeah have a fantastic rest of your day thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode